Right, this is the uh, the engine that I was given. It's uh, obviously a diesel. Um, I'm going to hand you over to my nephew. Um, if you want to tell us a bit more about it, then uh, uh, I'm sure the viewers will be interested in, in it. Um, so this is your diesel. Um, it's in really, really good condition, actually. For its age, it's really, really good. There are a couple of light scratches on it, but obviously because you've been playing with it lots and it's been used because you've used it quite a lot. Now then, um, can you tell me what... Uh, has, has there been any maintenance done on this? Um, yes, there has. In either 2011 or 2012... Um, it broke and we and uh, it got taken to a model shop um, and there was a wire which came loose and uh, the model shop very kindly fixed it and now it's back in working order and it's been used lots since it's very very powerful and um, we I use it quite a lot what other maintenance has done it? Did you, was there any cleanup needed on any of the uh, other parts, like the wheels? Uh, yeah, the wheels. The wheels have been cleaned. Well, every single time, either before or after we've run it. But as you can see here, it's due for it again. So that's going to get done, possibly soon. Right. What would you use to clean it? Um, I find the best thing to use it is a pico rail cleaner because it's a new sort of brand and it works really really well is I, that just is that just used for the wheels uh you can it's a, it's supposed to be a track rubber but it works well on engines right so you use that on the tracks and the wheels on this yes. engine yeah is there anything else that you need to to uh, maintain um always oil it probably every six to eight months because the oil can dry up uh, this hasn't been oiled for a couple of months so it's due for a service right but um it runs absolutely brilliantly yeah where would where's the, the oil go um, would you, how would you apply I would, it i would put the oil on the little cogs here and on the trailing wheels as well, just so the oil gets round. Yeah. And then there's a screw here that lifts the body off, and you can get access to the motor. Right, so it's just just the one screw then, which is that quite, holds that's it, quite that good. That holds it together. But yeah. nowadays, like the modern Hornby stuff that you get, it's held in by a couple of screws because Hornby, it's Hornby's 100th anniversary this year for 2020, and this is probably. I'd say about coming up over 50 years old. Yeah, as I did say, the introduction, um, I was four when I got it, but I think this, this model must go back to the 60s, definitely. At least, or, but, or even before. Or even before, yeah. Is there anything you need to do to the motor? Um, do, you do you test it? Do you test yeah, the motor? Yeah, test, I test it quite often, but what I find is good is if when you take the body off, use a little cotton bun and go around... Um, the little worm drive gear and just get out all the mucky stuff from where the oil has dried out. Right, that's good. That's a good tip. So we don't do, I don't do it all the time, but it's best to do it. Yeah. Um, do you test the running of the motor? So when you've done all the clean up, do you do you test the motor itself? Uh, yeah, I I would. It would be good if you would test. it. It would be better if you do test it. Do you test it by just running the train on its own really fast? or? Um, usually if you get too wild and touch these silver pads, because these silver pads touch the rails. Right, so you test it with the train off the track. Yeah, and then afterwards yeah. oil it up and then put it on and then yeah. run it in for a little bit. Do you use the same oil to clean up the electrical connections that's on the train? Um, I'm not really sure. We just I just use whatever oil I've got. Right. Um, any other problems? Uh, not really. We use this all the time. This uh, next engine, um, I didn't actually receive this uh, with the other engine, so probably best to hand you, hand you over to my nephew who will explain a bit more about it. Um, so where did you get this uh, engine? Uh, I didn't actually buy this. A friend bought it for me, and then they handed it over to me as a non-runner, but then I fixed it 
Then I offered it back, but then they said they didn't want it anymore. So right. now I've got it. So you say it's a non-runner. What was but, wrong with it? Uh, it didn't go. There were a couple of wires missing, so it needed a couple of new wires. Yeah. And... A clean up. Did you clean it up? Yeah. But yeah. as you can see, on some parts, it is very, very scratched. Right, okay. What, uh, what rough... What roughly what year was this particular um, model introduced then? Do you know? Probably just slightly before the diesel that we looked at a couple of minutes ago. Right, so what sixties, even fifties, maybe? Maybe nineteen fifty eight. So late fifties, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you maintain it like the diesel with um, the oil and Yeah, a little bit differently though, because this one's not very powerful. Right. So, um, what's the, what would what's di the difference? Uh, different maintenance then. Um, it needs less cleaning because it's a smaller engine. Um, I don't actually know a lot about this engine because I'm not really into this sort of three rail stuff. I have two rail, which I find is much easier, and they've got more detail. But this is my backup range of engines, and we've got two other engines, but they're away at the moment. There's. Duchess of Sutherland and Duchess of Montreux. When you say they're away at the moment, are they being repaired or maintained? Um, no, they're in storage. Oh, they're just, in storage. Just at put the away for winter. Yeah. Okay. Um, now that 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 little set of wheels at the back that moves around that's, is that that's unique the to the is that unique to the toy engine or is it actually exist on the real engine? Um. Because I don't know anything about this one. Um, it actually exists on the real thing. I don't actually know how many of these are preserved, but this is a class N2. Right, and what do you know what to class that diesel is? Uh, that's probably either a 55. I think it's a 55. Right. Deltic, and there's a couple of them left. I don't know how many, yeah. but there's a couple remaining uh, on like preserved steam railways and stuff. Right, okay. Um... But yeah, this is a really, really good engine. This is mainly used in the summer holidays in our in my three rail steam and diesel gala. Right. Um, and this runs with freight, uh, which we'll move on to in a minute. And this is a really, really nice engine. Although right. the detail is a little bit faded. Yeah. So like round here and stuff, it's still really, really good. It is. It runs okay. A bit noisy, like all like the diesel. It is due for a service in a, in the next few months, but not yet. Yeah. So you're going to service that one. Do the usual clean up on the electrical contacts as well. Yes, it's the same as what we do with yeah the diesel. Uh, any any apart from when it was non running, when you got it running, has there been any problems since? Um. Sometimes it's, it is occasionally prone to derail. Either that's me doing it too fast, or the track isn't incorrect. Isn't the rail joiners aren't incorrectly? Yeah. So I have to go round very slowly with this and make sure that it runs fine. Right. These are uh, some of the carriages uh, and other accessories that came with the uh, that came with the railway train set. Um, you've got two passenger passenger carriages. Um, right, so has there been any maintenance done on these? Um, I'm not actually sure. Um, these are actually in better condition than what I thought they would be in. Because um, you, get, you do get some like, off eBay that are a bit dodgy and some people don't actually put the correct description in. Um, so if you're buying any of these online, you need to make sure that the description... Look at the pictures carefully. Yeah. Or... Go to a pre-owned model shop that sell them. Yeah, so they are the passenger. Yeah, these are the carriages. passenger ones. Yeah, and what's the, what are the others? Uh, we've got a couple of little freight wagons here. Yeah. Uh, so this one is one that I use all the time. Uh, it's a little brick wagon, uh, and this one is an eight-wheeler thing. Yeah, I remember using that. And then we've got a couple of. Uh, is it oil or? Uh, yeah, this is um, this is an SO van. Yeah. Um, not in good condition. A couple of little scratches, but it's really, really good. I use it most of the time. It is prone to derail, but I yeah. run it very carefully. Do you use the same oil on the wheels as you did? I don't the use any oil these because it's plastic. Right. Okay. Uh, what's that? Um, the other oil or petroleum one? 
Uh, this is a traffic services van. Oh, this one, services. this one's actually a little bit newer. Haven't had yeah. this one as long as these. Yeah. Uh, probably had this one about eleven years. Right. These I've had. Oh, so it didn't come with the original set. No, we f I found this. Right. Uh, toy fair. Yeah. It was only ten p. Yeah, that's a bit of a bargain then. So it's got two guards vans there as well. I uh, think that's a little box van. Box van, yeah. I'm and not sure if that came with the original set. And the roof slides off. No, I don't think that came with the original set, but it looks as though it matches up with the others. Yeah, sort of. Um, this is a little guards van. I'm sure this one came with your set. Yes, it did. I remember that. Uh, I've got a couple of these. Yeah. They're stored away like the yeah. other two steamers we've got. So apart from main gen you know just maintaining them has there been any problems um no the guards van sometimes derails yeah but i run it mostly with these two carriages yeah um and then there's another one of these somewhere i don't think it's here at the moment um right. but i run it with the two passenger carriages now could the diesel pull or pull or pull all those carriages at the same time uh it can, but it's not got the right coupling on. It's got like one of these on, big right. fat ones. Yeah. But on the little black one that we showed. Can that pull all of them? The little black one. Can that yeah, pull the little black one can pull all of them. Right. But we don't like to do it because it's not yeah. very powerful. Yeah. Right. This is the uh, original controller for the railway set. Um, has there been any maintenance done on this? Anything um, fail on it? Because that light, the uh, the lamp, it doesn't look original. I'm sure that was replaced um, at some point. This is this has a fuse in it and it gets replaced probably every year because it blows well it goes quite a lot. Uh, this web light, if the train's off, well derailed and you're turning it, makes that noise. light comes on. It also it makes shows. a noise, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it used does. to scare me as a, when I was a little. It used to scare me that loud noise. Sometimes it's sometimes this controller isn't very healthy at the moment because um, when it's running although all the wheels are on sometimes it's flickering a little bit right it needs to get looked at yeah but as you can see on there um, it shows how to insert it in because on the back if I just turn it around you got what setting to put in so there's two what are the wires. different settings what what are the settings um, for then? That means how much voltage you're putting into the track. And what do you use for these trains? Uh, I use A and I use A for the little black one and B for the diesel because the diesel needs a lot more power. Right, that's good to know. Okay. Um, right, this is the um, the uh, other accessories in the track. Uh, the first bit is the station. Uh, there, there were actually some two sloping bits that fitted on either end, but can't trace those. And um, the signal box, that's that's all intact. Um, got plenty of three railer track. Um, as a as a lad, I felt it quite difficult sometimes to piece those bits together. Um, any maintenance you do on them? On the track, clean it all the time. Yeah clean it all the time because when when you clean it it makes the trains more reliable and, and less prone to breast less prone to derail mostly yeah do you find the track easy easy to fit together uh i find it easy but some people don't so yeah as a lad as when i was little oils. i found it really difficult to put the bits together do you find that any ease in oil on the joints helps um if you put a little bit of oil on the on this pad here um, when you put the other pad on top, it makes it a lot easier to put in. Yeah. Um, and then we got these stations as well. They're, now they're not in the best of condition, as you can see. Yeah, really the two. It scratches. looks a lot better. It looks a lot better with the two sloping bits on the end, but yeah. I can't trace those unfortunately. They're somewhere though. Yeah, I'll try and track them down at some point. Right. Okay, this is the last uh, piece of the three railer set. This is a mail van. I didn't actually have this as part of my set. So what's the background on this? When did uh, you get this? this? Uh, I bought this, well, my granddad gave it to me in uh, 2007. And it didn't have all these scratches on, well, as you can see on the roof. Um, so uh, not much to say about this because obviously it, I don't really know a lot about it. But all I know is that when this little bar here, there's a little bar under here, 
and when it goes over a piece of track, these fling open. Um, this stupid thing. Um, when the mail is collected, that the mail bag drops in, and then these close. And then when it goes round again, when this opens, it flings out from here into a little carrier. Right. Does it all work? Does it all works? Does it? Uh, mostly. Yeah. Sometimes it misses or or it gets delayed and it throws it out too late or too early. Right. Um, is there any maintenance on it? Just you maintain the um, Clean this all the time because this hit catches on a little rail and the little rail um, has electricity and when that opens it sends up a signal in here to open up the doors. Yeah. That's, um, what, what year would you say uh, that? That's I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm going to guess probably 1963 the early 60s then yeah, yeah i guess yeah yeah any problems since you um, bought it since i've had it just the, the just that it keeps derailing a lot and missing and delaying so i have to cr cr try and get it accurate for when it catches on the thing yeah to activate it correctly yeah right this is my nephew's two railer set obviously he knows more about this than i do so what's the first engine? Uh, so the first engine we have here is Mallard. As most of you will probably know, Mallard is one of the famous engines in the world. Do you run that a lot? It's in its box, but yeah. do you still run it? Uh, yeah, this is recently, we, recently I've had some issues. It's been juddering a lot. And um, this was given to me by one of my friends um as it was juddering so i took it to a local my local model shop and they did a full strip down clean and service the body's been off it's been stripped cleaned oiled you name it as it's is it running better it's now? running a lot better Does now it it's more healthy no it, it doesn't, doesn't judder. it doesn't yeah. judder anymore okay. sometimes it's prone to stall on points but my points are quite old and they're due for replacement um, and then we have. Do you do engine. general maintenance on that as well? What what would you do to that for maintenance? I oil it quite a lot every six months. In the summer, I oil it twice a day because in the summer it's hot. And it, does it dry up the oil? Yes. Yeah. So I have to oil it probably in the morning yeah. and in the evening, right. just before the art, just after lunch. Okay. Uh, now this next engine. Uh, it's in the wrong box. I've lost the other box somewhere. I don't know where it is. What's, uh, what what uh, model engine is uh, it? That's, uh, so this is Silver Link. You can't really see it. Please ignore this sticker. That's because it's been to the local model shop and it's had new traction tyres and new bearings fitted. Right, is it running okay now? Yeah, it's running a lot better. Sometimes a bit juddery like Mallard, but runs a lot better than what it did before. Yeah, and do you use same same oil in maintenance? Yeah, but that's been oiled recently, so it doesn't need it again, probably for another six months. Right, that's good. Right, moving on to the two rail track. Um, is this the most common gauge then? Uh, yeah, this is the same as the three rail, but instead of two it's got a rail in the middle like yeah. what we just showed you and the rail in the middle on the three railers that's obviously that's for, power, for power. Isn't it? that's right um so uh any any maintenance on this two railer track because it looks in good condition yeah this is new so this hasn't been used a lot i've used it a little bit but yeah not a lot where would you source these from would you get them from boot sales or well these are i think these are I'm not actually sure what make these are. These are Pico, and I've got to say this, Pico is the best track I've ever had. Right. Because it lasts over 10 years. Would you say it's, uh, it's slightly more, better than Hornby? It's more sturdy than Hornby. And with Hornby tracks, after about a couple of months, it warps and it dips. But this is much more thicker and it lasts a lot longer. Is there any difference in price then or would Pico is usually a little bit more expensive because it's much more stronger. Yeah, you get what you pay for, don't you? Yeah. Last uh, last part in the uh, two railer. Uh, this is the control box. Yeah, this is my controller. Well, it's not my controller that I use. This is my backup. Uh, this is a controller probably from the 90s. Um, Why is it your backup? Is, uh, is, the, I, is the main I, one the same model? Um, no, my main one is by Gauge Master, but this is quite an older one. I use this when I take my layout to exhibitions. This is my 
lay, uh, my uh, exhibition layout controller and as you can see it's got two knobs because this is for two tracks it's very very good I don't use it all the time um, but as you can see when I turn it it makes a noise uh, same for the other side um, and these are just for power sources and stuff and how to get the power high and low but I just leave it I just leave it on what it is. Yeah, any maintenance you have to do on that? Uh, change the fuse. That That's all, is it? Change, I'll change the fuse, which is located in here. Yeah. You unscrew the screw, and then this comes off, and then the yeah. screw is in the back. Right. But I have I replaced it about three months ago, so it's 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 really, really good. I would definitely recommend one of these. What model is that? Uh, it's the HM... Hammett and Morgan. Is that company still going? Uh, I don't think so. What's the model of the other controller? Uh, my controller I use is Gage Master, and Gage Master is a model shop located here in the UK. Um, I go there, well, I order stuff from there a lot, and it gets delivered. Um, but I use this controller a lot better because it's more reliable but I'm not saying that gauge masters rubbish anyone who's got a gauge master controller use it because they can last you up to 10 years then you have to replace it so would you recommend even if you're not having problems with a controller to replace it after 10 years even if there's no problems or would you say keep it I'd say keep it right but that's not my opinion right. that's for your opinion okay Right, thanks very much. Um, check out uh, the other train videos that my nephew's done. I've uploaded I've them visited, to the channel. I've visited loads and loads of miniature railways along the south. Have you got any others? Pl have you got any other videos planned for um, the summer? Yes, I'm hoping to film a little miniature railway called the South Downs Light Railway. I I'm a volunteer there, and I get permission to go to on a, on accessed areas for members of the public there's a two train day coming up next sunday which is mother's day so if you're in the area come down and visit right thanks very much thanks for watching